Welcome back everyone to this Walsall save and here we are for the playoff special. Uh, we're up against Brentford first of all away from home and yeah then we got the away leg, uh, the home leg sorry, a couple of days later. So let's have a quick look at the side. Uh, yeah we need, because, well Rico Henry got injured so he should be out for both these games. But he was unlegible anyway, so yeah, that's not the end of the world. So we're going to have to put somebody, a grayed out player on the bench. Uh, Florini, is he back yet? Uh, he's back in four days, so Florini does not make this one, but he'll be back for the second leg. Uh, so yeah, this is the line that we're going to go with. We are going with Ezkita in goal, Ralston at right back, Cameron at centre back with Roberts. Actually, how, how's Hoban? Is he back yet? No, Hoban's back in three days, so he'll be back for the second leg as well. Uh, and Fox at left back. We've got Morris at centre midfield with Hannibal alongside him. Um, on the inside forward on the right, we're playing Honda. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with Honda. Uh, attack midfield, we've got Henderson with Burke on the left hand side. And. Ooh, do I make a change? You know what? I'm going to put Rafa Mir. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put Rafa Mare in. And I'm actually going to take... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to second guess myself now. We did win like that before. Uh, there's Rafa Mare coming on the inside forward there. Ooh. All things I did not consider I'd be worried about now. Uh, hmm. Who wants him? Uh, Tenerife, Sporting Gihon, and Girona. Who is this? Is a brave call to make. You know what? We're gonna go unchanged. We've been on a good run late recently, and we'll stick it with that. So, uh, Burke will go on the left hand side. That might change, but that's how we're gonna start off anyway. So yeah, let's go straight into the game, and uh, hopefully put ourselves in a, a reasonable position going into the second leg that's the minimum I want obviously if we can uh, go on and win this game comfortably and not have to worry about the next one that would also be preferable uh, ok team talk we've got to make this count uh, yeah I'll, I'll say that one uh, no you don't seem to care passionately I have faith yeah this is good for giving us the green we've been getting a lot of full green bars recently and yeah, fingers crossed we can do this and get a decent scoreline coming back to the best Scott uh, or the Banksy Stadium, I think it's known as on here. So yeah, a few minutes in, we, we, we're having chances, which is good. We've had all the chances so far. Uh, obviously no highlights as yet, but hopefully that might change before too long. Uh, to be honest, they've uh, had more possession than us though. As uh, we try and claw it back and we're trying to inspire our team at the moment. Yeah, we've got 60% back and you know, they've had their first set of shots. Um, yeah, we're the only team playing today. I thought the second leg might have been at the same time, but obviously not. And, uh, yeah, so far, not a fat lot happening, but here's a chance now. Ralston with the throw, Henson on it. Henson, the ball whipped in. It's uh, nice and easy there for Ziga. And... Uh, what can he do with it? He boots it downfield and Brahm is now on the ball. And, uh, he plays it back inside to Jensen. Jensen plays out wide to De Silva. Can they create? He gets past the challenge quite easily, does De Silva. He's still driving forward, shoots it, and it's side netting and wide. Which is quite fortunate because he seemed to get through us quite easily there, which is obviously far from ideal. And that's half time. So far, we've been pretty poor. Uh, I'm going to say if I'm not happy with the performance out there. And yeah, I think we're going to make a few changes. I'm going to put Reese Mitchell. Uh, what's happening here? We're going tactics. This looks it looks pretty that way. And I'm going to go Rafamir up top because we need Rafamir to be fit anyway. He needs the match minutes, and yeah, he's he's a good player. He can come on and cause issues. Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to put Henson on the left hand side because. Yeah, he's over 40, so he can cut in that way. Still did the inside forward role pretty well, and he can use both feet. And we can get Mitchell playing his preferred role. So, yeah. Hopefully, 
we can uh, do a bit better this second half. Honda's pit to be yellow. And yeah, so far, still no highlights. Get creative, guys. I'm pumping up to positive. As, uh, yeah, we're still not looking great. I'll give it a few more minutes before I make the sub. Mitchell's not playing great, but I don't really have many other options. But Aaron's is going to come on on the uh, right hand side. And if he doesn't pick up Mitchell, then we will make another sub as well. We'll put a Henson in the middle. It's a free kick. Brentford the ball in. Zamburek with the header straight at Ezkita. And don't forget, Zamburek was one of our players before as well. First season, we had him in on loan. And uh, we just missed out in the playoffs with him in our side. And here comes uh, Aaron's now. And uh, is it going to be a counter-attack in our favour? Morris now on the ball. What can he do? It plays it into Hannibal. Hannibal back to Morris. Cameron now. Plays it all the way back to Ezkita. And uh, yeah, Ezkita plays it to Roberts. I was going to make a shout there, but we'll wait to the end of this highlight. So we know what we can do. Mitchell into Fox. Hannibal. Plays into Morris. And it's a lovely ball by Morris. Aaron's rolling Aaron's on. It's a good block by De Silva. And it's a corner. Corner ball to us. Now, now we can shout, get creative, and we'll make our final sub as well. We'll put Henderson back in the middle, and we'll take Mitchell off because he's not having a good game, and we'll get James Henry on. Can that be, Can this be the call which gets us something? At the moment, it's still not a fact that happening. But bear in mind, we're the uh, away team. I suppose this isn't too bad. And we won't push it too far because we don't want to go into it with a deficit going into the second leg. And last chance, Barami with the ball, it's in. And it's over the bar by Hamill. And as Keith is the one to tip it over, Barami takes the uh, free, the corner now. Barami, sorry. But it's in. Hamill, oh, it's off the bar and it's cleared away. I almost got take the lead in the 94th minute. And it's another corner. Barami with the ball, whipped in. Jensen over the bar. And that should be that. It's a goal kick. And that's the full-time whistle. Right at the end of the game, we dodge a bullet with, but with them hitting the crossbar. And, yeah, Josh De Silva did pick up man the match performance, as well as Kenny Cameron as well. And Mitchell had an absolute poor game of football. And, uh, yeah, we got a bit lucky there, I think, right at the end. I'm not happy with the performance out there. We're hoping for a better performance, but the two centre-backs had a good game. And that's a, a good positive thing because we want them to build up a relationship. There's Bristol City and Sheffield United in the first leg as well. How do they get on? And just we'll see that score before we uh, do anything else. Oh, they're still going. Now, obviously, I'd probably pay today, won't they? And, uh, yeah, nothing interesting happening there. Ah, here we go. It's Bristol City, Sheffield United. And that is 2 0 Bristol City. Ooh, Sheffield United have uh, uh, lost out there. Okay, then. So, on that note, we'll see you back in a couple of days for the second leg. I'll see you in a sec. And here we are, guys. Last game now to see if we will get a playoff final place. And Bristol City have already knocked out Sheffield United as well. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle to see who gets to face them. Uh, a few things have happened while we've been away. Morris is out for two weeks with an abdominal injury. So he'll be out for the final, I reckon, as well. Uh, so yeah, we're a bit screwed in that position now. Uh, Morris will go out. Uh, Hoban is back from injury. So I'm thinking uh, at the moment, Hoban to go back into his normal defensive position. And Roberts will go into the ball winning midfield position because he has played a couple of games there for me and did okay so that's what I'm thinking at the moment uh, also Mitchell has picked up a knock it is a bruised ankle but I don't want to risk him to be honest with you if, if I can help it I'd rather not play him uh, Florini is also back as well and he'll come back onto the bench and yeah he'll start as well for Burke because Burke hasn't played well the last few games uh, and yeah, we need to put Hayward back on the bench as well. And that's how we're going to line up today. Uh, it's a risk playing a centre half at that position. Basically, if, if Mitchell would have been fit, I would have dropped Henderson, uh, Henderson into that position and moved him onto a centre midfield support or something like that. And I would have been happier doing it. 
Uh, but because he's still not 100% fit, I don't want to risk him, especially if we are to win anyway. And yeah, uh, I could bring him on for the last few minutes of the game if we, if we need it. But I don't want to try and play him if possible. Uh, so yeah, Roberts is going to play that position, I think. I feel like that's the best course. And obviously we're happy to get Hoban back in the team with Cameron because those have a fantastic partnership, I think, anyway. So yeah, let's go into the game then, guys, and hope we can get a result to get us through to the playoff final. Uh, yeah, we'll carry on like that. So this is as tough as they come. Oh, well, as tense as they come, that's what I mean. Zamburak, our former man in the midfield for him. And uh, ah, Sepp van der Berg. You guys aren't aware of this, I haven't told you yet, but we've actually he's actually signing for us next season. So if he has a good game, he's going straight out on loan. <laughs> if he has a poor game, he's going to play first-team football. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. So yeah, let's go straight into the game then, guys. No, it isn't. We've got to do the team talk. I keep getting uh, ahead of myself. You deserve to be in the final. Make that happen. And passionately, I have faith. They don't seem to care that I want to be in the final. But I believe they can. And uh, let's go for it then, guys. We're at home as well. It looks like a sellout crowd as, as well, which is obviously I'd, I'd minimally expect. Uh, especially with a place in the, at Wembley it's at stake. And, yeah, first few minutes in, it's very, very tight, very cagey, no real chances as yet. They've had more of the ball, but we've had more, we've had more shots, but they've now equaled that, and now they've had more. But we've got a corner, Hannibal to take it, ball whipped in, Cameron, oh, just over at the far post. And uh, only if Hoban could have been on the end of it, but Hannibal's got it now. Ball whipped in, headed away, but it looks like Kenny Cameron's going to get there first which he does, what can he do with this ball now, crossfield ball to uh, Honda. Hannibal, oh it's a goal, Hannibal with a goal, it's 1-0, 30 yards out, what a, oh 25 yards out, what a goal, and that's his 8th for the season, and that puts us 1-0 up, could we be going to Wembley to fight for a place in the Premier League, Honda picks up the ball, plays it back to Hannibal, and what a strike that was. Maybe keeper could do a bit better, but it was hit with some venom, I tell you. And yeah, we lead by one goal to nil. Can we double it, or can we hold on to it? I'm getting very edgy now already. Henderson with the ball whipped in. And it's a penalty. The ref's given it, and I think Ralston's the one who gives it away. And it's an opportunity for Brentford to make it all square. Who's going to take it for him? Hamill runs up. Sa and he's saved. As Keita with the save. And we're still keeping it up 1-0. And Hannibal to take this corner. Ball whipped in. Cameron. Oh, it's headed away though. Henderson to get there though. Plays back into Hannibal. Hannibal. What can he do? Plays back to the edge of the area. Cameron. Back to Hannibal. And uh, plays back to Kenny Cameron. Cameron to Roberts. Ball into Henderson now. Florini. Plays it through to Honda. Honda. Oh, good save by Ziga. And, uh, yeah, it could have been 2 0 up there, but saying that, it easily could have been 1 1. But what a fantastic save by his Keita. Handable to take, ball whipped in. Cameron heads it over the bar. Got too much underneath it. And, uh, yeah, it's been a tense game so far. Oh, I can feel my hairs turning more grey. And Robertson now on the ball. Plays into Zamburek. Zamburek plays it to Jensen. Robertson, back to Jensen, back uh, wide to uh, Zamburek, he now runs with the ball, uh, and yeah, that guy, <laughs> Zamburek with the ball over the top to their fullback, and here comes Brentford into the air, strikes it, and it's wide at the far post, it, I feel like it may be more of a cross, a bit of both maybe, uh, Jensen with the free kick into Zamburek, can we win that ball back, Jensen on it now, but plays it into Jensen, and Ollie Watkins coming forward. And it's a block cross, but Jensen wins it back. And it's the fullback now. Leku. And now we win the ball back and we smash it clear. Wanda now on the break. Can Wanda make anything happen? It's go, still going down this side. And then he shoots and it's over the bar. Gets it onto his left and could have done better with the shot there. And that's it at half time. 1 0. Uh, we've had more shots in total, they've had more shots on target, but we've had a bit more possession. Okay then, what can we do? Hmm. 
Uh, I'm pleased how things are going so far. We'll try and give him praise to keep going. I think that's the best course of action. Uh, yeah, and it's still cagey at the moment. Still not much happening. And uh, we're trying a creative chant. To, a chant? No, it's not. Uh, my thing's worse. I should have demanded more. Okay, what can we do? So we got Florini who's getting a bit tired. I'm on, I'm on a yellow card, so I'll take him off. And we'll put Burke on for him. I feel like that's probably the best course of action with that. And then uh, you've got to start thinking about other subs as well. Honda, I think, will be the next one. It's a free kick to Brentford. A Barama with the ball whipped in. Set and the Berg fortunately kicks over the bar. He obviously thought to himself, oh, I don't want to score this one. So he decides to kick it over. Good thinking there, mate. And uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron. Roland Darren's is going to come on now for the last 20 minutes. Can we hold out for this? We'll uh, demand more from the players. And, yeah, they haven't really responded to that as much. And uh, so far, so good. And we'll give them a bit of praise. Hopefully that will see us through this final whistle. And we'll let it run. And we're into injury time. 92, 90, oh, it's a free kick to uh, Brentford. And it's Lecu now. Plays into Norgard. Back to Van der Berg. Van der Berg plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Good decision there, Van der Berg. And they boot it forward. But they're on the ball now. Zamburek plays into uh, Wilson. Zamburek. Can we win that ball back? Aaron's needs to try and win it if he can. Wilson with the ball whipped in. And as Keita punches clear. Oliver Burke now with this a chance to break for us. Oliver Burke still going. Is still driving forward. Plays it out wide to Ralston. Ralston, can he get that cross in? Plays into Aaron's. Aaron's. Back to the edgy area to Roberts. Roberts to Hannibal. Into Aaron's. Aaron's now driving forward, shoots and it's 2 0. It's 2 0. Uh, uh, Rolando Aaron's with the goal. And that secures it. We're going to Wembley for the playoff final to the Premier League. Oh, I can relax a little bit more now with that going in. Rolando Aaron's, a great finish, cuts inside the defender and fires it into the back of the net. And he loved it. Gets his ears to the crowd to take in all that noise. And he's just about on side. It's Rafa Meir who was off, but it wasn't going through to him. And a great finish that was. And that's it. We're there. We're there. We're at Wembley. Absolutely buzzing with that. And we can't forget, as much as I gave Ez Keita some stick at the beginning, uh, uh, just after Christmas for making a load of mistakes, he saved the penalty there and saved us. So, yeah, a lot of credit's got to go to him. Okay. We'll give the players a load of praise for that. We're in a final. Well done. And yeah, Hannibal playing a nine again. A fantastic goal and an assist as well. I didn't even notice he got the assist there either. Absolutely superb performance from the lads. So happy. You might be able to tell. I'm not too sure. Hope you can. Uh, yeah. And that's it. Absolutely battered them, didn't we? I'm really happy with that. And uh, yeah, Hannibal leads the way. So we'll give him a bit of individual praise as well. Okay then, then guys. Uh, when is the playoff final? Twenty uh, second of May, so in eleven days' time, at Wembley Stadium as well. Ah, oh, it just feels great saying it. So what we'll do now is we'll go through to that, but that'll be in another separate episode. So that'll be tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you're liking what you're seeing. Uh, it's It'll just be important for me so we can get that out. Oh, hang on. We're not putting any... Uh, I don't want a full week of rest. But we'll change that anyway off camera. But again, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.